Taylor Hamill here from DMM on the Tree Stuff channel. This is the T method for calculating a simple mechanical advantage. Here's the basic definition of a simple mechanical advantage system. We have the load which is being lifted or moved, and that is our moving block. We have the anchor point which is not moving. So there's one stationary block and one moving block in a simple mechanical advantage. We also have various forces here. We've got an input force, which is the force or the tension that I'm placing into the system. We have an output force, which is at the load or the moving block, and we have a reaction force, which is at the anchor point. Now to calculate these forces, we can use a method called the T method. Before we get into the T method though, we need to talk about friction in the system. So an ideal mechanical advantage assumes that there is no friction in the system. So when we do this T method here, we're assuming that there's no friction, but in real life, you're going to have friction losses in the system, so you need to consider that to determine the actual mechanical advantage. So the T method, I have, I am inputting some force here. We're going to call that 1T. When this rope travels around the moving block, we end up with 1T on this leg of rope and 1T on that leg of rope. We total that up, 2T. We only have one T, however, at the anchor point. So we've got an input force of one T, an output force of two T, and a reaction force of one T. The ratio between input and output, that is our ideal mechanical advantage, in this case, a two to one. A little late on the snap. What, am I doing another cold thing? All right, let's look at this same system with a redirect at the anchor point. So, using the T method, one T on this leg of rope, one T this leg, one T that leg. Now we sum them where they make a bend. So we have two T at that point, we have two T at the output, one T at this point. So we have an input force of one T, we have a reaction force of three T, an output of 2t. So we have the same mechanical advantage, we just have a change of direction in the rope to change our pulling angle. 2 to 1. I should probably redo. All right, let's look at the next. Okay, let's look at the next. Okay, let's look at the next example. Can you guess what the mechanical advantage is here? Well, let's use the T method and find out. We've got 1T input force here, 1T on this leg of rope, 1T on that leg of rope. 2T at this portion, 2T at the anchor, and another 1T here. We sum those for 3T at the moving block. Our input force is one, our output force is three. That's a three to one mechanical advantage. All right, continuing on. Here's our final example. Can you guess the mechanical advantage? Let's use the T method and find out. Input force, 1T, 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 and 1T. We've got 2T here, 2T, 2, 2, and 1. So if we count the Ts at the load, at the moving block, we get four. Input force of one, four T at the moving block, that's a four to one mechanical advantage. We have five T at the anchor, that's a reaction force of five. Check out our next video when we describe the difference between ideal mechanical advantage and actual mechanical advantage and talk about friction in the system. T, 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 T,